Thank you. I was taught to say bless you. I wasn't taught to say excuse me. I was taught to say excuse me when I burp. I wasn't taught to say bless you and say excuse me. Because what the hell I'm saying, excuse me, ain't like you're coming to ink in on you. That's stupid. Why would I say excuse me? When you burp, you burping because people can smell your burp. When you sneeze, you sneeze in your arm. Or you sneeze, well, you don't supposed to sneeze in your hand, but some people sneeze in their hand. That's giant when you sneeze in your hand. You're supposed to sneeze in your arm, like bless you. Or you're supposed to be like, bless you. Please, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was taught. But, mm -hmm. girl, that's what I was taught. But yeah, y'all, I ain't really doing nothing. I'm probably gonna sit in the house today. I want to do something because of Halloween, but I ain't gonna be able to do nothing. I ain't got no money. I'm, I'm broke as fuck, and I'm sorry to say I'm broke than a bitch. I don't spend all my money. I'm just finna just give up. I just wanna. I really think I'm finna give up. I really am. And I'm not lying. I'm being dead serious. I know I started working November the seventh, but I think I'm about to give up, cause it's too, it's just too much on me. It's too much on me. It's a lot. So I think I'm really. I've been thinking about it here. I've been thinking about what I'm about to do, but I think I'm about to give up on a lot of shit, cause it's just too much on me at once, and it's a lot on me. And I understand this would happen when you become an adult, but it's just too much on me. Nah, for real. I think I'm about to. It just feel like everything just falling apart. Everything just falling on me at once. You know what I'm saying? It's just like everything falling on me at once. And it's hard. It really is. And I really don't like coming on here. I really don't tell people my business because it's nobody else's business. But it's hard, y'all. And it's everything just coming on me at once. Like everything is coming on to me at once. And it's not going like one by one. It's like everything. Like if one situation happened... A lot of situation happening at the same time, and it's just a lot on me. I keep praying, I keep praying, and it's just like ain't nothing changing. You know what I'm saying? I keep praying. Like I'm, I made a part of my life now. I just don't even want to pray no more because ain't nothing, nothing changing. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. I'm gonna get it better. You know. Ugh. I'm tired of praying, y'all. I am really am. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I am really tired of praying. I'm really tired of praying. I'm really am. And I'm not even lying to you. And I'm not doing it for no cash yet. I'm tired of praying. I'm really am. Y'all don't understand. I'm really tired of praying. I just feel like everybody done gave up on me. I feel like people who was my friends, they just, you know, they don't fuck with me. And I, it's okay. And I understand. And it just feel like, and I feel like me personally, I done did so much for just everybody in general. And it's just like, man, that I'm in the predicament I'm in. or Because I'm not really in the predicament, but I am in a predicament. It's just like everybody just like fuck me and just, you know, go on their own way. Ain't nobody checking on me. Ain't nobody make sure I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like. I done done so much for everybody. And I'm just being real. I done done so much for everybody. It, it, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like everybody now, they just like, you know, bitch, fuck you. Like, and that's what I think they is. And they go for family and friends. Like, everybody just, like, they don't even fuck. You know, they don't care about what, how, what I'm going through or stuff like that. So that's why I be over here every day. I just smoke every day. Like, wishing that. Like, sometimes I wish I don't even have to wake up. Because it's just so much on me. Like, I don't know. I just... That's why I say when y'all really get to know me, y'all don't understand me too. Y'all don't really understand me. Like, I'm going through a lot over here. And it's just like, I'm happy that I got my own shit. I'm happy. I'm, it's all that. I'm glad that I got my own stuff. I'm glad that God blessed me with my own shit. And I, that's what I'm thankful for. But it's just like, it's just so much that, like, on me. And it's just like, I don't have nobody I can talk to or even communicate with to tell them how, what I'm going through. And people want me to just be like, okay, kiss up. And just be like, okay, yeah, I'm, no, I'm going through a lot. Like, I'm really going through a lot.
If I die right now, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even care to be honest. Like, if I, cause I know I'd be in a better place. That's why I say I really don't care. Like whatever happens to me, whatever happens to me in life, I, I I'm I'm okay with my I'm okay with the situation because at the end of the day, all I pray that I don't get shot or all I pray is I don't get hit by I don't get into a crash a bad car accident. But anything else, I don't care for. You know what I'm saying? I just pray that I don't get hit by no car. I mean, I don't get into a bad car accident. You know what I'm saying? That I gotta, I don't want to feel the pain. So if anything ever happened to me, I want it to be naturally like if I go to sleep one day and it just don't wake up, I would be happy with that. If, you know what I'm saying? Just, I just don't want to go through the pain and the hurt. I don't want to feel the pain or the hurt or what I'm going through in life. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to do that. But hold up, y'all. Let me get something quick. I just don't want to go, I don't want to go through the pain and the hurt. But I do want to, I do want to end my life though. Like, I just don't. Really want to go through the pain. I don't want to go through the pain. That's the only. That's the only thing about it. That's the only thing about it. I don't want to go through the pain. I don't want the pain. But anything else, I'm okay with my decision. Anyway, else how I die. Thank you, whoever just said something. Anything else, like I'm okay with it. But I just don't want to go through the pain. The tongue is powerful, Tommy. I know it's powerful. That's why I say it so many times. Cause that's what I mean. I meant what I say. <clears throat> I don't go back on my words. That's why I do tell them to Because I mean what I say. I got my words. Overnight having money, I'm not trying to be. It's not about money, and that's what people keep thinking it's about. Y'all think it's, that's why I don't come on here and and tell y'all my about money. It's not always about money. I am human. I go through things outside of the internet, and y'all think because I be having my cash up pen, and y'all think because I'm asking for money to certain thing. Y'all think that that's the only thing I'm thinking about. It's a lot of shit that I'm going on in my life that y'all don't get to see because I don't show everything. So y'all always gonna always assume it. It's about money, and it's not all about money. Because when I'm dead and gone, it's not going to be about no money. So it's not about no money. It's about what I'm going through in my life. And people only think only think it's about money because I got my cash up here. Even if I didn't have my cash up here, I would be saying the same thing. It's not about the money, baby. Because when I'm dead and gone, ain't the money ain't going to be here. So I'm not going to be worried about no money. I'm going to be sleeping peaceful. So it's not about the money. I'm going through real life shit that people don't get to see or get to hear it. Because I don't like to express my feelings to people. Because people tend to laugh at your situations. And people tend to do shit evil shit. So that's why I don't tell people my business. That's what I be saying. Y'all be laughing and thinking that everything is funny. It's not funny. And I understand that y'all think because I'm a comedian or I'm a cunt, a cunt creator that y'all laugh at everything because y'all think I'm funny. But it's real life goes on. And I, that's why I don't like coming talking to y'all. And that's why I don't like expressing my feelings. Because one, y'all think it's funny and y'all laugh at everything. And then two, y'all got YouTubes trying to make money off of my situation that I'm dealing with. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it just, I'm not saying it for no cash yet. I don't, at the end of the day, y'all don't got to ever send me nothing. At the end of the day, y'all don't got to never send me nothing. I don't care about cash yet. This is what I'm going through in my life. I don't want to be here no more. I don't. I really don't. It's not about no cash yet. I really don't. So y'all can stop thinking it's about cash yet. Not, but I can take my cash up away from here and, and I'm going to still speak the same thing because I don't want to be here no more. I don't. I really don't. I really don't. I just don't want to die by getting shot or in a bad car accident. That's the only thing. But other than that, I don't care what it is. It's not Instagram either. It's not Instagram. Y'all keep thinking it's Instagram. It's not Instagram. Bro, this too small. Cause I can't even smoke out this motherfucker. The hell? Bro, this too small. I can't, y'all gotta realize, I am a content creator. 
I don't have time to just take breaks and stuff. I don't have time just to say, let me take a break on this. I have, this is how I eat. No matter how y'all think it is, no matter how y'all think it goes, this is how I eat. This is how my son gets taken care of. This is how my life goes on. I can't just say I'm going to take a break and then just go and I'm not, I'm not set like it. I'm not, I don't have no family who got, who got money. I don't have no, I don't have money who, I don't have family who would just loan me $5,000. I don't have people like this. So y'all got to realize that this is my eating life. This is how I eat. This is how I do it to make y'all laugh and I get paid or to get paid off Instagram or my platform. This is how I eat. This is how my son eat. So when y'all be saying take a break, I cannot take a break. You know what I'm saying? I, even though I'm going to start working, but I, I, it's just not, it's going to be so hard to take a break right now when I got things I got to make sure they're taken care of. It's a lot on me. Bills. My son's birthday coming up. Um, they turn back around. Christmas coming up. Thanksgiving coming up. What else? Bills again. Bills again after that. It's just a lot on one person. And y'all be and then y'all come around here and y'all think that cause I don't have my son with me, I'm a bad father. No, it's not that I'm a bad father. It's that cause I'm trying to make ways so that my son can be good out here. I understand y'all gonna go get a work a job. I'm going to get a job. But guess what? At the end of the day, I don't have a job right now, so I gotta make it work the way it works. So if my son don't be around me, I'm just like a I'm just like a a a, a, a celebrity mom or dad who out of time all the time. Doing so, so they can make sure their child eat. That's what I'm doing. I'm making sure my child eat. My dad, my child never go outside looking homeless. My child never go outside with looking like he's been like he been in a full uh, football field all day. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm making it happen by doing what I'm doing. So I don't have time to, get to see my child every day. Because guess what? I'm trying to make it happen. So he don't have to. He don't have to. He don't have to. When he get older, he won't have to stress about it. Like how I'm stressing about it. That's why I don't have my child all the time. But y'all come in these. Y'all make this. Y'all make it what y'all want to think it is, and y'all try to paint me this picture. You get what I'm saying? Y'all trying to uplift his mother, but y'all trying to down me when I'm doing this shit by myself. Ain't nobody helping me doing nothing. Nobody. Even when he, whoever he with, they still calling my phone. He need this, he need that. Ain't nobody helping me. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. And then everybody want to have their motherfucking opinion about what the fuck I'm doing. Because I don't get to see him all the time. That's because I be, I'm be working. I don't even see niggas. I don't even have niggas at my house. And you can ask Shamar, I don't, be, I don't even have niggas at my house no more like that. Because I'm working too much trying to make stuff happen. And then y'all always got something to say negative about me. Oh, he don't take your ass on. You going to be a daddy. Bitch, go be, you going to be a daddy. And, and, you, and you'll see how the shit feel when you're trying to make shit happen. Y'all don't understand. Some days I just wish I want. I just want to go homeless, so I don't gotta worry about shit. Y'all don't understand how bad I just want to say fuck this shit and just give up and don't give a fuck what nobody think about me. Just say fuck it. Go, just fuck it. Just fuck all this shit. Like I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of breaking my neck for shit. That's what I want to say. I want to just say fuck it. I want to give up. I just want to give up everything and just say fuck the bullshit. Go back, ho go homeless or something. Maybe I live a little better than what I'm living now. They're blunt too damn small. Piss me off. This blunt piss me the fuck off too because it's too damn small. Nah, for real. It just, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just to the point of my life, I'm tired. I'm tired. And I, y'all probably don't want to hear this on a motherfucking Friday. And I ain't mad if you don't want to hear it. But I'm tired, y'all. I really am. I'm tired. I'm tired of a lot of shit. And it's like I'm a nice person. And I let people continue to fuck with me. I continue to let people try me. I continue. I'm tired. And when a person tired and they tell y'all constantly they tired, something going to end up happening. And it's going to be big as fuck. And it's going to be two options. I'm going to either be dead or I'm going to be in jail. And, and if I go to jail, I'm still going to be in dead because I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something in that motherfucker that's going to make them want to kill me. So it gonna, that's what I'm saying. When a person's tired, you don't supposed to come and keep fucking with a person or keep picking on a person. Let that person be tired. Just don't, you know what I'm saying? Wait till they get the feeling better. And then you come back and do your little picking shit or you do your shit. But when a person keeps telling you they're tired, it means they must be really tired. They're not saying it just to say this shit. A person is tired. And everybody think that it's all jokes and games and all because of cash out. It, fuck this cash out shit. I'm dead ass serious. 
I don't, you don't got to ever send me no money. I don't care. I start working November 7th. I don't care. You don't got to ever send me no money. I'm just saying, I'm just telling y'all what's been going on. And no shade, when I come on here, y'all y'all the reason why I'm still here to this day. And I'm being the fuck serious. Y'all views is the reason why I'm still living or I'm still having a good time. Because guess what? At the end of the day, even though y'all piss me the fuck off sometimes, y'all, I can come on here and get a, get a good kiki. I can come on here and get a good laugh. I can come on here and just, y'all will, y'all don't understand y'all, even though y'all piss me the fuck off every fucking day, I, I ain't gonna lie. I can't stop fucking with y'all because it's like I can come back on here and y'all and the whole thing is just change. we'll be talking, we'll have a good time. Then the next day we'll be probably arguing. But it's just about y'all the only reason why I'm still in this world. And that's crazy to say that. That's crazy to say that. I'm telling y'all, that's crazy to say that. I'm not mean, baby. It's just I'm tired of the bullshit. But yeah, y'all, I just want to let y'all know. I don't want y'all to feel like, I don't know. Mm, I, don't, I don't know, y'all. I'm just living by faith, not by sight no more. I'm starting, I'm just starting living by faith. That's all I can do is just live by faith. I'm giving up. I am giving up with life. I'm giving up with life. But I'm just live by faith. And wherever faith take me, you know, I'm just live by it. If it take me there, it take me there, take me down. You don't, whatever it take me, I'm living by faith now. I'm not living... No more about, I'm not living like that no more. I'm living by faith. Because I'm found, I, I am officially giving up. I ain't going to, I ain't doing no crack. I'm not getting no crack. I'm not doing that. I ain't getting on no hardcore drugs. You ain't got to worry about that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing none of that shit. I'm not doing no drugs. So you ain't got to worry about it. My son not going to have two fucked up parents. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. So I ain't gonna do no, I ain't gonna do no hardcore drugs, but I'm giving up though. I am giving up. Mhm. Got to be strong. It took me a long time to be strong after what I've been through over the last four years. You, that's good for you to be strong. I'm proud of you, but I can't, I can't be strong. I'm tired of being strong. I'm tired of being strong. When you, I've been strong so much. It's just like, now it's time for me to give up. It's time for me to fall and let people help me back up. I'm tired of being strong. I've been strong for a long time. Lost my mama. Lost my grandmama. Lost my closest best friend. Lost my closest cousins. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of being strong. I've been strong for so long. Holding it in. Letting shit go, you know what I'm saying? Letting it sweep up on the rug. Had a nigga come in here and steal from me. Get what I'm saying? Baby mom put me on child support. Then turn around, now she on drugs. Think, and then she got somebody in her ear making me feel like I'm a bad father. Then got child making me feel like I'm a bad father. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot that I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like I'm keep holding in, keep holding in. Ain't, they ain't telling nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keep holding in, keep holding in. Like, damn. It's just a lot on my heart. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's just a lot, y'all. It's a lot. <sighs> but now, it's cool, though, y'all. So, I just, I don't know. I'm tired of being strong, y'all. I'm, di- I'm tired. Baby, I'm tired. I'm really I'm tired. And I understand y'all want me to be strong, but I can't. I really can't. I'm done. I'm done being strong, babes. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I thank y'all for following me and being here until the day I leave. But I'm tired of being strong, baby. I'm tired. I really am. It's a lot that I'm going through. Ooh, my credit score going up a little bit. Okay, period. They just emailed me see my credit score. Well, huh? well, it's going up. That's what I'm talking about, credit score. Yeah, it's work with me. I don't have much to say, but I have a lot to say. And Tommy, I know you be over here, so you might as well cop a squat and take a listen.
Okay, so you're, you know, at the night, you're the only one that's going through something. And you're saying that you can't take it no more, you can't handle it, it's too much for you, because all, all this stuff is piling on you all at one time. Hell, that's everybody. And I see quite a few single mothers in your comments saying that. Now, they're single mothers with their kids. You don't have your child. And you get up here and say you do what you do so that you make sure that your son's taken care of and making sure you and your son eat. Hell, you can't even feed yourself at this point. How you gonna feed him? But you know what, Tommy? You're just like a family member of mine. You sure? And that's why I say the things I say and how I say it. Because you remind me exactly like them. You think you're entitled to other people's money. You think because someone's in a better position, they owe you something. When they really don't. Your family is taking care of your child. And you're living your life. But once things in your world starts to crumble, then it's everybody else's fault but yours. You take no accountability of what you've done to get yourself in that position. And you say you start a job November 7th. Okay, that's cool. But you should have been had a job. And then no one told you to move into a higher apartment that you know you couldn't afford. You know you couldn't afford it. So you've got to scramble because the first will be here on Wednesday. And you need that rent money. That's all on you, boo. The 30 is right around the corner and it's knocking. And you need to grow up and do what you need to do for you and your child. Because begging on social media is it's getting it's getting tiring. And a lot of people a, a, a lot of people are tired of whether it's on Instagram, Facebook or TikTok. Tired of seeing people who don't wanna go to work, who don't wanna do what they need to do to handle their business. They want people who have whole families sit there and take care of them. That's not what, you know, they make cash outs for. They ain't making for y'all to sit up there and beg. If y'all put out more content, then y'all begging, y'all could be making a bag. And then you say you're a content creator. All you're doing is rehashing old TNQ videos, for one. For two, you go live, you don't say the live. And you just beg. Because that's all you do. So how are you a content creator? Because I'm not seeing no content. At all. And speaking of content, you say you're tired of YouTubers posting you and making money off you. What money are we making? Please tell me what money are we making. I would love to know what money are we making. We should, but we don't. We take time out of our day to sit there and watch the buffoonery, and then we post for free. And a lot of times we feel like we should get paid for it, but, you know, we don't post our cash out so our Zells and Venmos and and things of that nature for our followers to pay us. We don't do that. We don't go and create Patreons and stuff to get income because you know why? Because um, we work for real, for real. We have jobs for real, for real. Um, we have disposable income. So sometimes we don't go uh, work a regular job. The the job works for us. Okay? So, we don't make money off posting on YouTube or Instagram. But, who's to say they 
that might change in a little bit. And you say that you just gonna stop praying because it's not doing anything. Well, I'm gonna tell you, you better ask God to order your steps. <laughs> order your steps. Like I said before, faith without works is dead. And you really need to grasp that concept. You got yourself in a predicament, you need to get yourself out of it. You need to act like these followers don't exist and social media don't exist. You're going to have to really sit down and think of how you're going to handle your business. Because those single mothers in your comments, they do it every single day. They do it because they have to. And they need to. Because they have children. These are the very women that you sit there and talk down on. That sit there and give what they can to help you. But you a grown ass man. They don't even have his child. Who priorities are just messed up to the highest capacity. You need to bail yourself out before it's too late. But that's all for now. Bye!